Hey everyone, welcome back to some more Persona 2 Eternal Punishment. I've been leveling up a little bit in Alba Park. Um, I'm actually... I think I've explored all of the park. Um, hold on a second. Uh, yeah, I think I have. I've also gone through here. The north side. And there's Trish's Fountain. And I didn't go here. There was like a guard. <laughs> I thought it was trouble, so I didn't go there. So there's this rest area. I triggered I triggered the cutscene for this, and I was like, "Oh no!" So I had to re-roll because I want you guys to see this as well. So let's go see what this is all about. Yeah, as soon as I saw this, I was like, "Oh, turn it off." <laughs> What's going on? What the heck? Sneak. There's no time. Just listen. I cannot reveal my identity now. As you know, the police and mafia are essentially being controlled by Tatsuzo's organization. Not just the police, the media, and even the giant companies have the roots of the New World Order spread around them. Katsuya says, New World Order, you say? What is their objective? What is Tatsuzo planning? Obviously, you're skeptical, but I give you all that I know. If you don't talk, then we'll just bust into the station to corner Shimazu and Togashi. No, you alone are not capable of that. They are above the law. If you move now, you'll end up like your father. You, you know my father? And they're still taking you lightly. I want you to find hard evidence of a conspiracy and exploit Tatsuzo. Not all the police and government are in his hands. There are people are other than you who are investigating the organization. Currently, I am the only one who knows this. Conspire with them and trade inform information. Here are photographs of them. Wow, that was... That was not a suspicious meeting at all. Wait, I still need to ask. Just follow him. <laughs> Ooh, the pictures. Oh, that's Ellie. I can see that's Ellie right there. Even though it's a bit blurry, I could like tell that's Ellie. Isn't this voyeurism? It's just too fishy. I don't trust him. No, I think we can trust him. That was the voice of a man atoning for his sins. Well, how are we gonna find them with just these pictures? Ah, I got it. Just spread a rumor. So let's go to Kuzunoa. Oh man, I need to also go to Velvet Room. I was just leveling up before starting to record. And... Oh, I guess we're not chasing after him. Um, I think my Maya can be upgraded. I got like, um, what was, what was the mutation called? Like new modification ability. I was like, what? What's that? Um, mutation? Oh, yes. <laughs> Oh my god, yes! Bro, I've been waiting for this. Okay, so I did get Diorama while I was leveling up. How do I... So if I just mutate this... Shucks, maybe I should save. Oh my gosh, I've been waiting for this. Oh, Ma Maya Custom. SPU's 22. Oh, that's so expensive. You know what though? Hama Scratch? Maha Aqua, that's kind of useful. Everything else is useless. Madeira is... Okay. What? Oh yeah, because I'm using it right now. Whoops. The only reason why Mai is useless, she has three heals right now. Which kind of wastes her slots. So, let's go swap that. And just mutate. Well, we'll see if it's good. Uh, yes, please. Oh, this is so hype. 
I've been waiting for this. Oh my gosh. It's time to get upgraded. Yeah! <laughs> she looks the same. That's okay. My name is Maya. Fertility to you, let the lunar moon begin be. Okay. Now. Hopefully this helps us fight. Oh, but I have to level her up a bit. Oh, no. Um, I have this persona. Because I saw that she has Estoma. Which reduces our... Um, encounter rate so Kuzunoa we need to go raise up some rumors um, sure I might need to stock up on some items too oh yeah like I said I don't even know their names we should just lure them out with a rumor I'm so smart. <laughs> you say? Well, we don't know what kind of people they are. It's not right to spread rumors about people you don't even know. But it has to be interesting to people. Or it won't become a rumor. What kind of rumor are you going to use? Um, hmm. Don't worry, I got it all planned out. A man or a woman? who has key information to this case will appear at Parabellum. So if the two actually do show up, we have a picture of them, you know? Bob was like, yeah, keep me out of this. Fool, that'll stand out like crazy. Like Amano said, the media's gonna jump all over it. Hmm, I suppose you've got a better idea. That's what I thought, you long-haired freak. So what do you think, Maya? <laughs> oh no. You know what? I, that would work. I'll agree. How do you plan on going about this? Have you been listening to anything I've been saying? Maya, you know what to do. Hell yeah. Okay, what's, what's back here? Nothing. All right. Um. Okay. Are you got to say Tammy? Nothing. I don't want to do your sweepstakes. <laughs> I opened this by accident. And I didn't even know there was something in it. It was a bookshelf. It was like magazines. I spread the rumor of the girl and the guy separately. Think about which one you want to meet. Oh, oh! That calls for a save. Uh, talking flowers. Yeah, I was gonna do the flowers, but like they were saying some next things, so I reloaded because I I don't know what if the if the rumor like if I spread the rumor and I can't undo it if it was bad or good, so I just re-rolled my game. Okay, an individual at Parabellum. That individual is a woman, a man. Uh, what? Sure. Spread. Wait, can I choose? Oh, okay. We'll make it a woman. 3,000 yen? That's nothing. I have hundreds and thousands. Yen. Wait, actually, wait. Did I see a rumor on the bottom? What was it? Um, Miracle Magazine's prizes. You know what? Let's just... Oh, I have to choose. Win special items, win spe spell cards. Mm. So Chikalin and Toku say different things. Let's do... Uh, special items. Thank you, Todoroki. Okay, that's it. That's it? <laughs> Miss Serizawa gets pretty hot-headed. 
and I will be able to talk her out of it. So I guess we have to try. I did it. So now we go to Parabellum, which is like the bar. Hold on, before I get started there. Um, where's, there you go. Satomi, Tadashi. Uh, Incense of Life. I'll buy two of that. Sedative is nice. Just buy all of them. Rosa Candida. I don't know what my equipment is. It's been a while. Holy. Okay, let's go buy some stuff. Nope. Okay. Okay, we might buy a couple of these. Yeah, four. What? Oh wow, that's a hundred thousand dollars. What? Or yen. Boots. I might as well buy them. Alright, everyone is dressed for war. Let's go. I wonder who it is. I said it's a woman, so it probably is Ellie from Revelations or something. I might be wrong. Okay. Lots of people are gathering. That's the media for you. Just like Maya said, they've got ears everywhere. Yes, sir. Hey, don't be such a sore loser. You're the one who drew the short straw. That's my uh, chief. The, the lady there with the blue suit, she's my chief uh, for the media, the newspaper. This isn't my style. Why don't you get Suo to do this? The bartender, so funny. Your style, huh? And what exactly is your style? You know what to do, right? Yeah, but... Anyway, let's talk about life or what to do with it. I thought I'd figure it out when I became an adult, but reality is so harsh. I just got more confused. Why are you telling me this? <laughs> you know, friendly conversation. I don't know, it's just that you seem to have a purpose. I was just wondering what kind of life you've lived. Oh, I think this is it. This is it. Oh, flashback? Oh, these guys are waiting outside. Just outside the Pyrabellum. It's getting chilly. You all right? Are those people really going to come? If so, are those two going to get it right? I'm worried. Uh-oh. Let's think positive. Katsuya, man. Nah, well, either way, we'll play it by ear. What's so funny? I know what you're thinking. I'm the guy who worries too much. Uh, I've always been like that. Yeah? How come you don't worry about your brother, huh? Do you get tired of who you are? Um... Uh... I feel like all the answers are up on the top. Do you get tired of who you are? Because sometimes... I like who I am. I guess sometimes. It's kind of true. I see. Life doesn't always turn out the way you want it to. 
At least for Tatsuya. Did she see something? Oh, I think she sees something. Yup, yup, that has to be Ellie. Like, come on. Hello, ma'am. She's gonna run. Okay, she didn't run. Good. <laughs> do some work. Stop talking. Do some work. How I choose to live has nothing to do with you. If you want sympathy, ask someone else. Editor, editor in chief, Mizuno. Hmm, Amano. Oh, she sees the window. Uh oh. What is that good for nothing little? She's not going after the scoop. <laughs> Damn, they're quick. There's nothing we can do now. Let's get this over with. Yeah, you think you're so smart? Well, mister, you've got another thing coming. Well, you can just keep your damn secrets, you know? The whole world doesn't revolve around you. Uh-oh, what's going on? Those are some mad acting skills you got. Okay, then. Oh, they're distracting. I get it. You're too damn needy. That's why men always run away from you, you cross-dressing. What? What did he just say? Yeah, give him that one too. Damn, girl, watch that shit. Are you still drunk? I see how it is. I guess you want some more, huh? Are they distracting or what the what is going on? No, no. No, I'm on said. What's going on, guys? Hey, find somewhere else, will you? The storm is getting away. What? Where? Where? <laughs> Poor Baofu. It's alright. Small sacrifices must be made. Manly man. Well. <laughs> Baofu is probably full of bruises. You guys really put on a show. Mm. Someone should have told her that she was supposed to be pretending. Crazy bitch. This is Nate Nancho. He's renting this room and his friend, Ellen. Yeah, Ellen. I've told him our story. Why is he wearing a helmet indoors? Like, nice to meet you. I'm Nate Nanjo. Son of the head of some of Japan's biggest companies, a, perso a persona user who awakened as a result of the Sebek scandal. Ellen! Nice to meet you. My name is Ellen. Ellen Kirishima. Kirishima. Like Nate, she was awakened by a past incident. She's a big fan of the occult. She works as a model, but... But what? <laughs> so, why were you guys investigating the New World Order? Do you, do you know a guy named... Guy Shinjo or Gi Guy Guy Shinjo? Just the name. He's Tatsuzo's secretary, but his work history and his details come up a blank. He's like a shadow. The truth is, sorry. The truth is that Shinjo might actually be Guido Kandori. What? Guido? It's a rumor circulating around political arenas. Kandori, aka Guido Sardinia, the president of the Sebek Corps. Wasn't he responsible for that accident in Lunarvale? Isn't he dead? That's what we thought. 
Four years ago, he planned to destroy the world until we stopped him. While chasing the shadow of a dead man, you arrived at Tatsuzo, huh? The little girl over there, too. I was researching the relationship between the popular Wang Long fortunes and the case, then I ran into Nate by chance. Just you two? Like, what about the other crew? But after listening to your stories, I realized that all the incidents are connected. It's obvious that the, ne the New World Order needs the Jokers for some reason. And the Joker craze has some tie-in to Wang Long. I wonder if they're using the readings to spread information. Rumors. They're creating jokers and sorting out people's fortune, so the curse is used more. Sounds ridiculous, but look at it now. I see. There's nothing as enviable as another person's good fortune. But why? That's something we should ask the head of the NWO, New World Order. The kidnapped jokers were supposedly taken to a nearby science lab. Shinjo goes in and out of there often. I got a hold of Wang Long Chizuru's schedule. She's filming a TV show later on today. So I think if I said, yes, it's a male, I think Nate is supposed to show up in the Arabellum. But then since I said woman, it's Ellen. Okay, but together, we still end up here. All right. We have to split up. If someone comes with me to the TV station, Nate can check. Nate can then check out the lab. Sounds like a plan. Just like old times, huh, Ellen? So who am I going with? Oh, manly man? I am Matsuoka. I must warn you, what Master Nate is doing has nothing to do with Nanjo. Remember this. Um, he's... I thought it was a butler. He's a rude bodyguard. Of course, you will not speak of Master Nate's actions. If you do, you'll regret it. Do not forget that. Okay. Normally, I wouldn't accept intervention by normal civilians. But, as, but I guess it's fine for Persona users. Uh... So, wait, he's talking about Hotel Pleiades. There's another entrance across from here in the south wing. Hold on, let me talk to everybody. Lala? <laughs> Hotel Pleiades. Nanjo? Nate? Rumors becoming real. If that's true, Guido Kandori, are you really alive? Alan? Uh, actually, one of my friends is a celebrity. I'll ask him for a tour, so it'll be easy to get into the TV station. Let's go to Aoba! What the hell did you tell me to say? What do you mean, cross-dressing? <laughs> you... You, of course you'd get angry. <laughs> That's funny. He's still thinking about that incident. Of course, because he got like boxed across the face. Ooh, where are we? Narumi. Baofu's lair. Oh, wow. I guess let's go exploring. Sewer. My favorite. Mm mm mm, the sewers. Let's leave Nate here and go to the television station. Wait, where's the sewer? I thought I went to the sewer. Ah, uh, okay. Science lab. Which one's the science lab? This one? Hey, what do you want to go there for? We have some place to be. I know, I know. But where's the science lab? It won't let me enter. Um, let's try the subway. Wait. Uh-oh. I missed the first one. These walls are huge. It's like a prison. Let's leave Nate here and go to Aoba. Baofu's lair. Where's his lair? He won't let me go there. Huh. 
I guess we'll go there next time. Oh wow, everything is expanding. Um, so concert hall. But you know what? Before that, save. Okay, concert hall. Where's the entrance? Where's the entrance to the concert hall? <laughs> um. Where's the entrance? Oh wait, tomorrow TV. I thought we were supposed to go to the concert hall. TV, concert, they're the same thing. Hey. Did you look at that? Brad. What? Damn, Brad. Yo, what took you so long, Ellen? Oh, wow. I can't believe this. A multi-talented entertainer. So he became a star? Hi Brad, how are you doing Yuki? I heard about what's happening Maya. I came with uh, Shinsuke to take some pictures of Brad, but I'll help too. Brad, have you seen her yet? Yeah, Wang Long Chizuru is up. What was that? <laughs> what is that, cat? Wang Long Chizuru is up in the dressing room. And about the other thing, it seems that the fortune telling show, which started the boom, was a setup. That was about the time when a bunch of magazines did articles on Wang Long. That's obvious manipulation. And the question is whether that woman is in New World Order or not. There's the possibility of her just being a pawn. That cat! That cat, it's been looking this way the entire time. What a cute cat. It's probably a star's pet or something. Wang Long Chizuru had a cat like that. <laughs> Forget the stupid cat. Let's go. <laughs> Bafu, yes. Okay, let's talk to everybody. Dressing room is second floor. The cat looks suspicious. Let's go and mask a witch. Hey Mackie, can you casually ask her if something is bothering her when you get the chance? She has the look of a model, but she's not too popular with the camera crew. They say her smile is stiff. She seems to smile warmly with you guys. I was wondering if she may be bothered by something else. Oh my gosh, Brad. That whim cats have. <laughs> okay. Wait, which is the entrance? Oh, this is... Okay. Hi, guards. Frightened. On the third day, a rainy day. Reiko... Ka Kashima. What's going on here? Reiko. Or else you will die. Will someone exterminate her before it's too late? Is that a rumor? Do you know Miss Kurosu? Yes, the actress. Kurosu. To kill? <laughs> he mistakenly saw Miss Kurosu as Reiko Kashima. Uh, mistaking her for a monster. Oh my lord. Alright, we've explored everything. Where's that elevator? Oh, no, that's not the elevator. Oh, this one. I'm pretty sure this place is a dungeon. Yeah, they give you that map. It's a dungeon, baby. Okay, so I don't know what this is all about. Let's see. Let's see how tough the monsters are. Actually, oh, I was gonna say maybe there is no monsters because people are going in and out of this building. 
Never mind. Oh, she's joined our party. Oh, I can control her. Oh, God, she's so weak. Oh, she's so weak. Mahagaru. Alright, so we'll go with that. So this is Death's Roulette. And this one is like... Uh, Cyclone Slash or something like that. So hopefully it works. Yeah, it took a while for me to come up with something. but Oh, no, Death's Roulette. Uh-oh. I don't know how Death's Roulette really works. Because I don't use it much. So we're about to see how it works. I'm, I'm probably dead. I'm dead. Oh, the enemy dies. Okay, the enemy dies. So if it's if it lands on blue, we're dead. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure that's enough to kill it. What? 105? That's freaking garbage. Okay, hold on. Holy crap! Oh, Ellen. Okay. This is not really that strong of a monster, but... Okay. I just wanted to level up, so... Okay, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, that's pretty cool, man. Ellen's... Ellen's persona is like some, some jet plane. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I don't know how long Ellen's gonna stay with us, so... It's probably not even worth... Leveling her up. Alright. Well, guys, I think, you know... I think this is a good place for me to end the episode. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. We are in... Sumaru TV. Heading towards the second floor. I think we're already on the second floor. So we just have to find the room. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.